this table will calculate the theoretical uh, flow through orifice so when the liquid leave a pipe the normal pressure is converted to velocity pressure we need to calculate what is the flow what is the flow when the uh, when the uh, flow when the when the liquid leave the pipe let's go back to the fire protection handbook and see how to use this table this is the table what we are discussing calculating the theoretical flow through circular orifice this is based on this equation so based on this equation all of this number is calculated so uh, but you will not calculate anything in the exam in the exam they will give you um, the input is the pressure what is the pressure or what is the velocity and what is the orifice diameter and you have to calculate the theoretical flow through circular orifices uh, so simply you will get for example the the, the pressure is 8 psi and uh, the orifice diameter is 2 uh, inches and you have to get the number the intersection between these uh, two numbers to get the theoretical flow uh, it's a simple table uh, you will get into two uh, pages um, because the pressure is continuous until 39 psi so the first one is uh, until 17 and the second one until 39 so it's uh, the the same tables but you have to know how to get the answer from this table as we see this is the equation based on this equation all of this number are calculated is the theoretical uh, flow why it is theoretical why we are calling it theoretical because um, in the actual um, conditions it's not all orifice like each other because the material is different um, it's not all as a circular so this is theoretical it's not actual uh, we have to add one component is the coefficient of flow the coefficient of flow is uh, based on the material um, of the nozzle so when we add this it's called cd or the coefficient of flow we will get different values for the material uh, spray sprinkler this is the normal spray sprinkler with uh, half inch diameter it's 0.75 for example the large drop sprinkler is 0.9 uh, the deluge or monitor nozzle is 0.997 uh, the open pipe smooth well rounded is 0.9 so this is the coefficient of flow uh, also this table is important and you may be asked about the coefficient uh, of flow uh, here i have to highlight one thing um, here you don't confuse between the k factor and the coefficient of flow because now you may ask yourself uh, the spray spring sprinkler um, is with half inch diameter is uh, 5.6 but this is not the k factor now let's see how this will affect the k factor as we discussed this is the equation Q equal uh, 29.84 uh, multiplied by D2. D2 is the diameter and the coefficient of the nozzle multiplied by uh, square root of the pressure. So the D is the diameter of the orifice and CD is the discharge coefficient and the velocity pressure. If you look at this equation, you will find three component is identical for each sprinkler or for each orifice we can say uh, this is constant because this one is constant 29.84 is constant diameter is constant for the orifice and the uh, discharge coefficient is constant also because the material is the same so if we aggregate all of these three we will get one constant what is this one constant is the k factor so this is how the k factor is calculated now the equation became q equal to k this is constant for each sprinkler multiplied by 
the square root of the pressure. So this is how the, the all of the hydraulic calculation based on this equation, but this is the original equation based on this. If you calculate uh, 29.84 multiply by diameter what is the diameter of the normal sprinkler is uh, half inch so you will uh, multiply 0.5 by 0.5 and multiply by cd or the coefficient of flow that we already discuss now this is 0.75 if we multiply all of these constant to each other you will get 5.6 is the k factor of the spray sprinkler thanks for watching this video this is Amr from Infinite HSE if you are preparing for CFPS certification then you can enroll in our professional full preparation course uh, in infinitehse.com and um, our students in, uh, enrolled in this uh, preparation course uh, have already uh, passed the exam within the first attempt so the course is available in Arabic and English so enroll today and gain a lot of experience and uh, many tips and tricks uh, to pass this exam within the first attempt so I will see you in the course uh, enroll today from the link below this video and good luck